aren't, aren't even bought into what we're doing. I don't get that. I'll move on. Spiritual growth is a part of tithing. Spiritual growth. If you're growing, you're going to give. That's kind of a natural, progressive, spiritual life. Love gives. Love grows. And, and trust me, that's part of your spiritual growth. So part of the reason why I think it's important for me to encourage you to tithe and even know about leaders that you're giving is that I want to see that you're growing spiritually, that you're growing to that next step. I'll talk about growing here in a minute at the end. But you're growing at the next step to give a little bit more, go a little bit further, do a little bit more that God has for you to do. Recently, I had a, a family uh, friend of mine who was um, a family friend of mine who was recently going to um, who, who was going to asking God for provision financially. They were saying, "God, I need financial provision. I, I need you to take care of my needs." And instead of uh, provision coming through the lottery or through you know publishers clearinghouse mailbox, you know, because we all like mailbox money, don't we? I like mailbox money. God, I want you to meet my need. And we go to the mailbox, see if there's anything in there. That's happened to me before. I can tell you, there have been times I go in the mailbox, something's in there, and I'm like, praise the Lord. But sometimes this person said, I prayed for God to meet our need, and I got a call that someone wanted me to do some part-time work online from home. And it was meet, started meeting some of their needs. Why? Because God opened the door. Tithing opens up the windows of heaven, and God pours out a blessing. And it may not be dollars, it may not be rain and money, but it may be a job opportunity. It may be a promotion. It may be an open door that you didn't see before.